All right. Take two. <coughs> okay, people, let's circle up and focus on summer for just a few seconds. And uh, okay, uh, let's all join hands. And let's all just let go. No thinking. Some of you are still thinking. Let it go. For some time now, Colin and I have been devotees of Prada Patel, who is the founder of the Movement for Effortless Prosperity, which basically believes that in order to get what you want from life, you basically have to do nothing. But you really have to do nothing. It's hard doing nothing, thinking nothing. Look, here's an example. For the next minute, I am going to think about nothing. So you're up first. Uh -huh. So when you hear them say your name, you walk rather quickly, okay, to this chair and sit down. Is it gonna be this hot in here? Yes, yes, it will be exactly this hot in here because these lights, it gets rather hot under them, so. I think I should tell you I have CRTD, chronic regulatory temperature disorder. I have to be on the lookout for sudden changes Perfect. in temperature. Great. Oh, Summer, I, I thought in the interview you might like to ask me about string tension. That might be interesting for the folks. You see, normally, string tension is set in a range of about 80 to 130 newtons. Like your recreational players have a range of about 110 newtons. But I, and brace yourself, 150 newtons. Well, that's really quite bold. I mean, in the hands of someone who's even a little bit nervous, that wouldn't be a good idea. But I'm known for my coolness under pressure. You know, cool, calm. Wait. I just thought it might be a little more prominent here. Prominent, yes. Tasteful, no. You don't want to ram the store down people's throats. Sweetie, the whole point of the show Where's is... Where's Colin? I don't know. You mean you just let him wander off? Oh, my well, gosh. I didn't just marry into Hollywood royalty here. I also married into Versailles royalty. You know, Bud Tickler was the president and CEO of the Versailles Sanitary Rag Company, which is nothing to thumb your nose at. Uh, of course, I knew who Summer Tickler was. Everybody knew her in town. I knew who her mother was. She was very famous here in Versailles. Uh, in fact, she cut the ribbon when Dad opened the new store. Um, there was an incident that happened at the uh, ribbon-cutting ceremony. It seems that Evelyn was having a problem with one of her medications, as I understand it. Uh, somehow, though, she ran the scissors through the fleshy part of Dad's arm. She could drink, that's true. We ended up using uh, the ribbon as a temporary tourniquet, but we've been able to laugh about it since. I didn't really know Evelyn. She passed away um, shortly before I met Summer very shortly, just ironically a couple of hours. I remember I met Summer at the 4th of July barbecue over at the VFW Hall, which is still there. They're gonna tear it down, but it's still there. Um, incidentally, it was the same day that her mom passed away. And I thought she was holding up quite well considering she just lost her mom. And she would laugh at almost anything anybody said. And then if anyone would mention Independence Day, she'd sort of yell, you got that right, mister. And then she'd take another shot and just start to laugh. And long story short, two months later, we tied the knot. She saw into my soul. She transformed me. That was the moment that I decided that I wanted to be an actor.